<laughs> yeah, at IMG, it's great. It's such a nice facility, so mm -hmm. it's really good. <laughs> yeah, where was your career at when you were 17? I, mean, I know you weren't here or the equivalent there. Yeah. I mean, at, at Sacred Heart Prep. <laughs> yeah, I was at Sacred Heart Prep. I was still Irish dancing. Um, I was a state and national champion. Um, and uh, in the in the mile or the 800 in the my junior year and the mile my senior year. So you were good. Yeah, yeah. Could you envision what like what Kane is doing? I mean, I didn't have the resources that she did, so I don't know. I mean, 404 as a junior is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I think I could have run a lot quicker than I did, but uh, but like I said, I didn't have the resources that she's got at her disposal right now. You were just in a traditional high school situation. Yeah, just traditional high school kid. Started running as a without freshman. A track. Without a track. Started running as a freshman. Um, uh, didn't know anything about running and just have kind of learned as I went. So, yeah. What do you think of having a high school athlete as a contender, you know, for the bird? I mean, at the end of the day, it's we're all just people. We're all out there competing. We're all out there doing our best. So, you know, power, more power to her that she's, you know, able to be doing what she is of her age. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to bring my A game as I'm sure everybody else will. Can you, can you ever envision? about what it would be like to be all of a sudden the first words out of her mouth basically I'm looking at thinking about Moscow Were you ever envisioned of being in 17 and having that kind of mindset um you know when I was when I was my uh, approach all along has just been to be the best at whatever level I was at so while I was in high school I started out just wanting to be the best on my team and it's uh I've worked my way up from there so um you know I She's gotten the times to be able to say that Moscow is one of her dreams, and you know. Uh, so yeah, when I was at her age, I was—I didn't even know that professional running existed. I didn't know it would exist until I was about a junior in college. So um, I was a much slower getting started, but uh, but um, you know, each of us has to find our own path. Did you go to Florida for the heat? I did, yeah. Yeah, we were at the IMG Academy. Um, my coach, John Cook, lives near there, and Lauren Seagrave. We worked with him in the we worked with him in the fall, so it was nice to get back and uh, use the facilities there and adjust. <laughs> What's up with the? Uh... Oh, I got my little ice vest. Um, just to keep my core temperature down, make sure I'm not overheating. So, so is it frozen before and then it melts? Is yeah, that... it melted pretty quickly today, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, you freeze it beforehand and then you just use it before the competition and just. Uh, I guess the idea is to keep your core temperature from getting too hot so that hopefully you can have somewhere to go when the race comes. Do you warm up on it or you put it on after you warm up? Or? Um, both. You, or, well, you warm up, you wear it beforehand and then you put it on again mid, mid warm up kind of while you're waiting around. How much have you used on? Just started using it when we went to Florida. So I got a few test runs there mm -hmm. before our workouts and, and I liked how it worked so I decided I'd use it here. So this, so is even, so this makes it a little cooler for yeah, it got yeah, you ready, it was, right? Yeah, it was, um, it comes with this neat nifty bag. I got it from Nike maybe a few years ago, um, and I've never really had the need to use it, but uh, it's you never know when stuff will come in handy. Now, did you wear it a lot training in Florida though? Or? Um, yeah, I did when I we do because workouts, yeah, there, just right? to get yeah. used to it. Yeah. Well, San Francisco weather. No, San Francisco not necessary. <laughs> it's, it's a lot warmer than it was when you were here in April. Which which yeah. would you prefer, this or what Drake really is? You know, I have only experienced extremes in Des Moines, so. Um, um, I I don't know. I mean, it was like 30s or lower when I was here in April, and now it's like 80s to 90s now. So I don't know that I really love either. I'm just you just kind of make it work. <laughs> so. Any thoughts on the final? I think it's gonna be tough. I mean, it's uh, as we saw today, it was slow. So um, I would envision it's it's gonna come down to the last lap. It pretty much always does. So um, that's what I've been training for. So. Hopefully I uh, do a good job. <laughs> right, good luck. Thank you.